Hi, this is Jim Berthold from OLI Systems, and in today's video, we're going to link the OLI engine with Honeywell's Unisim design. To do this, we have to make two assumptions. The first assumption is that you've installed Unisim design on your computer, and the second assumption is that you've also installed the OLI engine uh, for Unisim design on your computer. They are two separate installs from two separate vendors. So having assumed that, we are going to go ahead and link the two products. We're going to start off with the Windows Start menu, and we're going to look for the OLI program group, which is in the O's. And right here you can see that I have the OLI engine 10.0 in Unisim Design. You notice I have other products from other vendors, but today we're just talking about Unisim Design. So we go ahead and open that, and we're going to look for the OLI engine in Unisim Config Tool. This is a tool that will allow us to do the linking. When you link, uh, start the product, it will escalate. So you may need to have administrative privileges locally for you to uh, do this. So you can see that I have two versions of Unisim Design installed. I have R451 and R470. I can link both of them to the same version of the OLI engine or separate versions of the OLI engine. So I'm just going to pick R470 and I'm going to link it. Now it turns out the only version I have installed is 10.0 of OLI, so I just click the link button. Here. I could have linked both. I could have linked all. If you had another version or an earlier version, you can install them separately. But since I only have one version of the OLI engine installed, I have only have one choice. So this is what you need to do to get them to link. It will not run, the OLI engine will not run in Unison Design unless they're linked. Now, there are a couple other options. The first, which is actually a really handy option, is to check for an updated configuration file. This check, which is automatic, uh, goes to our the OLI systems download page and downloads the config tool. So, And that's only here to make sure that all of the products that are possible could be uh, installed. And this checkbox here in the lower left-hand uh, corner says only show detected or linked products. Now these are the only two versions of Unison Design I have installed. If I uncheck them, you can see that all of the versions since R430 are listed. Yeah. But I don't have these other products installed, so I'm only looking at the two here. Uh, people who script their software may need to do this so they can script the software for other versions. But that's it. That's all we needed to talk about for this. The product is linked. In another video, I'll show you how to use the software.